Someone has taken a lot of time and effort and whittling skills to create this. The Vulcan Hand of magnificent proportion. Live long and prosper. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily. This is a good time of the year to drive through this area because the corn is at full height potential. It adds to the experience. And so does being out here all alone. That also adds to the experience. Just, just a bit. I've arrived now in Troy Grove, Illinois. A quaint little community. This is their post office. Oh, Wild Bill Hickok was born on May 27th, 1837 in a house which stood on this very block and they have erected a memorial down at the end of the sidewalk. No joke, this is a pretty beastly piece of bronze. Look at the size of that noggin. The pioneer of the Great Plains served his country as a scout and a spy in the western states to preserve the union of the Civil War. And you can see there's not a whole heck of a lot else going on in this neck of the woods. Check out this old bank building though. If you look closely, there is a metal bulldog right there in the center below the lettering holding a bag of money. Right there. What are you gonna do with all that money, bulldog? They're farming all types of products out here. Even wind, that lonely windmill, huge lonely windmill. Stopped in the town of Amboy, and there is a locomotive sitting stagnant on the tracks. Not operational, but quite impressive. Most impressive. A lot of great old signage here, which is pretty much par for the course for some of these small Midwestern towns. This Budweiser one would be worth a few bucks to any serious collector, but it's just hanging there. Probably has been there for a few decades. Real life Americana. These are the types of towns that Main Street USA was based on, except fewer tourists here and less gift shops. The old school digital clock in front of the bank I bet when the technology advanced and this first came out, it was the talk of the town. This photo is awesome. Look at the crowd gathered back in the day in front of the Opera House, which I've just learned by looking at that picture, was located next to the bank. July 1868, this structure was erected and it is a band shell. Just imagine all the events and performances that happened right here. If that stage could talk. I picked up this item at one of the local shops. At first I thought it was Mickey Mouse, but I wasn't 100% confirmed on that fact until I read the bottom. Check it out. Walt Disney Productions, Soaky. What the heck? Many years ago, there was a storm that blew through town at the city park. They have taken the fallen trees and made carvings out of them. A baseball player, this is an umpire, and before you play ball, you gotta make sure you have plenty of bug spray. because there's a lot of mosquitoes out here. This is a fireman rescuing a baby. You can see the hydrant there and the truck. Seems to have been some sort of explosion of the head region. This mama bear has been busy catching fish when she should have just noticed the decomposure of her child's noggin. I wouldn't have even known about this place, nor been able to find it if I had not struck up a conversation with a local resident who saw me filming back in town. And now, I'm feasting my eyes on this guy, carrying a pig. All joking aside, this is pretty freaking amazing. Think about this, this was a tree standing tall at one point, and now it's a train. It's a train! Incredible. The park itself was established in 1854, now prominently displayed the year here on this chunk of wood. Pretty fascinating stuff. It's like walking through history as you browse the grounds. Oh, she's holding, she's holding a little ducky. 
Hi, ducky. They're pretty much scattered everywhere out here. There's two over there tucked away, as well as, is that a piece of corn? It is. That's a full piece of corn. I know this is plenty tall enough, but I always get worried driving large marge underneath those overpasses. Hennepin Ave, but known to some as Reagan Way because of very young Ronald back in the day, this was his stomping grounds. In fact, he lived in this very house. And there he is, a statue dedicated to the man himself right next to his former home. He moved to the town of Dixon in 1920 at the age of nine. Not a bad little place to live as a child. And you can see the garage around the corner. This 1919 Model T symbolizes the type of vehicle the family would have drove on their move here. And check out the license plate. This camera was used by Elizabeth, nicknamed B. Frey, to take pictures of her friend. And that friend is the former president. Just got my ticket next door at the visitor center, and now it's time to go inside the actual house. So, uh, although this is a three bedroom household with two boys, uh, Neil and Ralph did not have their own rooms. The first bedroom here was instead used as a guest bedroom. Uh, their mother, Nell, was very generous, and she would often house recently released prisoners in this room. Really? Yeah, until they could get back on their feet. So their prisoners would sleep in here. Yeah, yeah, and then not exclusively, but you know, just just occasionally. The occasional prisoner. Yeah, the occasional. The occasional prisoner. Yeah, the occasional prisoner. What year was this that he came back to visit? Nin 1984. So that was 84. Yeah, February 6, 1984. Okay, there's the date, and he was sitting on that exact bed, which isn't the bed he right. slept in, but it was a bed that they put when they refurnished it. Right. Yeah. But Reagan and Nancy sat right there. Yep, and his brother, Neil. On that bed. So they think that the closet of the master bedroom was converted into the bathroom before the Reagans moved here. So if you look in the next room, there's no closet at all near it, but the other two rooms do have closet. Oh, okay. So this would have been the bathroom for this room, would have been here in the hallway. When you guys restored it, you made this twice as tall. Yeah. So when the Reagans were here, it, would, it only came up to yeah, basically yeah. my kneecap. Right. You could easily have taken a tumble down there. That yeah. could have ended very badly. Ronald was not allowed in this room. It's called the parlor. So what he would do is he would get on his hands and knees right here and lean over and he realized that there was a loose tile and he would hide his change right down in there. When he came back to visit, he remembered the loose tile and those are the pennies that he placed upon his return. And if you look on the far left, the drum major, that's him right there and prominently displayed on the kick drum, Dixon YMCA. So when he returned, he ate at this table in the china. Can you pull that up again so I can get a shot there? You have designated that that was the plate that he ate on. You know what, what kind of meal he had? Uh, I want to say it's like something with cabbage or but something. But it wasn't, it wasn't this fake fruit though, right? No. It wasn't, he wasn't chowing I down on The type of metal this is, is zinc. And over time, people just started to pronounce it as sink. Right? Is that what, is that what you're saying? Yeah. You think that's true? It's a good, it's a good tale. Yeah. It's a good, I, I believe it. It, 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 it it's, makes it's, sense. It makes sense. Now the furniture inside is not original. They brought that in when they had the grand opening and let tourists start coming in in the mid eighties. But nonetheless, the structure is exactly the same. And I picked this up in the gift shop. Pretty entertaining. You can dress the president, copyright 1984. But how cool and random and bizarre is this thing. It's only a couple bucks. They even have a sweet little archway leading through town with some neon lights up on top. And is that part of the Berlin Wall over there? Yeah, I think that is.
look at that view. Majestic. The elevation is not too terribly high, but it's still wonderfully appealing to the eyes. The beauty of this land. What's that? I heard a cow mooing down there. Trying to get in the vlog, cow? Way down there. Oh, listen. Oh, you can faintly hear them. You trying to you trying to do a little shout out for the vlog? Your friends will never see this video. Well, maybe. You never know if the farmer whose land that they're on might have Wi-Fi. But they don't know if they I don't know if cows have smartphones. If a cow would have a phone, it'd probably have one of those old school flip phones that you can't even watch YouTube on. You never know though. I don't know how they do things here in Illinois. What's that? I heard that. You do have a smartphone? All right, I'm losing my mind. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Vlog over.